this is number six we're going to follow the basically the same process but still i'm showing you when i multiply this in the rough without the decimal and after i get the number then i place the decimal it's two places from here two places from here a total of four places from the right Absolutely. same with this i multiply without the decimals when i get the product then i place the decimal four places from the right when i add this you must use the rough once again to be careful for additional subtraction we need the decimals to be placed one below the other just below the other then we add and the decimal is already there and i put the sum here same thing here here we have a square you know what is a square 72 square means 72 into 72 the same number multiplied by itself so without the decimal i get this product then i place the decimal two places one for one for this and another for this so two places from the right similarly with 3.4 square 34 into 34 this is 1156 so one place for here one place for here total of two places so one two here is the decimal again for subtraction now we need the decimal to be placed one below the other subtract it in the regular way carry one this is 12 subtract we need 3.8 now our next step is we subtract this again you will need the rough don't skip the rough place the decimal one below the other subtract for the next number also the next numerator we place the numbers with the decimals just one below the other and i get the subtraction value so i put it here so after this stage no more of subtraction and addition it's a division with a decimal number but as our rule goes no decimal in the denominator so i shift it to the end of the number that is two places so on the numerator so from this step we shifted the decimal two places in the denominator to in the numerator we get 443.52 by a plain 396 without a decimal same here 3.8 we need to shift one place to the right to get a plain 38 and only one place to the right to get a 402.8 now we are doing cancellation as you know 38 comes in 19 times table so these are even numbers first i cancel by 2 i get 19 this i cancel by 2 2 twos are 4 doesn't go in 0 and goes 1 times in 2 i cross the decimal 2 goes 4 times in 8 so this is my number and this is my number 19 is a prime number so i cancel with 19 itself 19 was a 19 and here 19 goes into 20 one times and the remainder is 1 19 was a 19 20 1 is the remainder so i get a 11 19 does not go into this 11 so i place a 0 then i cross the decimal and i'm going to consider 140 in this whole thing 114 19 goes 6 times in 114 so i'm done with this part here we'll consider these two digits this is divisible by 4 and the last two digits this is divisible by 4 so i cancel by 4 when i cancel this 4 nines are 36 and the remainder is 37 30 39 3 is my remainder so that's another 6 4 nines are 36 this I'm cancelling by 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 does not go into 3, so a 0. Then I cross the decimal, 4 goes into 35, 8 times, 32, 33, 34, 35, 3 is the remainder. So I get another 32, 4 eights are 32. So next step is 110.88 by 99. And here 10.6 so this one I can see 11 88 99 all are divisible by 11 so I cancel by 11 I get a 9 I cancel by 11 I get a 1 for this 11 0 goes up 
cross the decimal point 11 does not go into 8 0 goes up then we consider 88 11 8s are 88 now I'll cancel with 9 so after cancelling I get 1.12 then I have to add these two numbers and we arrive at the answer so this is our number 7 sum we have two brackets so we're going to compute this bracket first it's a subtraction we go to the rough for subtraction we place the decimals one below the other and if you have blank spaces you use zero in those blank spaces and subtract as we would do carrying 10 carrying 10 like this and this answer we place here then division we do this bracket it has a plus and a minus so we do the plus part first so this one I copy in the rough placing the decimals one below the other whenever I get a blank space above 3 I use a 0 then I add and this answer I place here see the last 0 after the decimal the tail end 0 has no value so I don't place it here then I subtract this for subtraction I need that 0 I carry 1 make a 10 and subtract and this is the answer for the bracket now for division we have to place one below the other and we need a decimal free denominator so there are four places to be removed this decimal so here also one two three four if the decimal is here we need to fill up this place with a zero so one zero three eight zero by four three two five then these are these two are ending with zero and five so they are divisible by 5, I cancel by 5 and I arrive at these two numbers. Now this is not divisible 5, this is not an even number. So next comes our decision, what should we cancel with? Many of you know the process of finding the HCF of these two. But then we would have to do a big division like this. This is okay, this is pro process is okay, but I think I know a smaller process. This number is divisible by 5 if not with any others because it ends with 5. So I find out the two factors of this number. If I cancel by 5, I get 73. So this number is 173 into 5. So 5 does not cancel this but 173 will cancel this. Now I divide this number by 173 to find the two factors. That means 2076 is 173 into 12 this I found found out by dividing by 173 and this 173 I got from here so now 173 cancels my small number is 12 by 5 so this must be converted into a decimal because this is a decimal sum we are doing so for that you all know this method just divide and we get a decimal 5 twos are 10 you subtract, you get a 2, put a decimal, take a 0, 5 fours are 20, this is okay. But I think I know a smaller mental process. You multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So you get 12 twos are 24 on top and 5 twos are 10. The, the advantage of this 10 is you can shift a 0, uh, shift a decimal across the 0 to get a 1 in the denominator. So if you shift 1 on the numerator also, you get a 2.4 as the plain answer. It's the same answer. This is number 10. But see, though it seems a very big sum, we did not need any rough column at all. This is the ladder sum we had learned. So we start from here. You can do this in the rough, but the LCM is 2. And this is 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5. So it comes to 5 by 2. In the next step, 1 by 5 by 2. So we trip this over. It becomes 2 by 5. 1 minus 2 by 5 is this portion. So when we do LCM of 5, it is 5 ones are 5 minus 2. And that is 3 by 5. So again this one, we turn over. This is the division line. So it, this 5 goes on top, it is 5 by 3. Now this portion has reduced to 1 plus 5 by 3. Where the LCM is 3, 
and we do the LCM. This is 3 ones are 3 plus 5 and that is 8 by 3 and the next step we trip this over. This is 3 by 8. So 1 plus 3 by 8 is LCM 8. 8 ones are 8 plus 3. 11 by 8. That was only this portion done. The ladder portion. Here we have a decimal in the denominator. So we shift it 3 places. In the numerator also 3 places. So it is 143 by 56 without decimals of 7 by 13. We have a division and a off. Which do we do first in Bodmer's rule? The off portion. So I can see 7 and 56 cancelling. I can see 13 and 143 cancelling. 11. So I get a 11 by 8 all the way down. So in the last line 11 by 8 divided by 11 by 8. 1 is the answer.